Closer to me, baby, I won't bite. None of the arts used is mine. Credits to the owner. Thank you for watching the second part of my Boku Akakuratsuki and Awawikaj. I know that this update is really late like seriously. I posted the first part three weeks ago and the second part right now but I do have a reason. I'm having my exam right now so yeah. I couldn't update my channel as often as before because I need to pass this exam in order to finish school besides trying to get at least an average results. And that's all from me. Let's get started with the story. They continued the walk before they finally entered the gym again and surprisingly, Kagayama was nowhere in sight. Tsukushima and the other three just walked back to the bench they once occupied, waiting for the other male to join them. If the chats has this asterisk symbol, it means that it's their thoughts. Tsukushima thought where is the king? Don't tell me he ran away without telling me first. Suki was panicking although he looked very much fine and collected on the outside but actually his mind was spiraling with each passing seconds. And I still have this supposed to be a date but we're being friends for now tomorrow. So, hum, where is your friend? He told us that he's going to the toilet a while ago but I don't know where he is right now. I'm sure he would be back soon. Yeah, Suki. I hope so. Meanwhile with Kagayama. Where is the fucking toilet? Am I lost or something? Yahoo. Hi. Hello Kagayama. Owh. Hello Iwezumi-san. Nice to see you again. What do you mean again? You met him just now. Oikawa mumbled, Iwezumi glared at him for a brief second before Kagayama spoke up. So do you guys happen to know where is the toilet is? What? Are you lost? Maybe yes, maybe now. Shy Kagayama noises. Wow. Never knew someone could ever gotten lost in their own school though. Hey. Just so you know, this is my first time coming here. He meant to the gym. And that's supposed to change the fact that you are lost. Just tell me where is the fucking toilet. Come on, we'll take you there. Are you sure? Yeah. Come on, um. What's your full name? Kagayama Tobio, O-W-H, Tobio-chan. W-T-F is that name, it suits you Kagayama, not I-W-A being a total flirt, T-thanks. They talked all the way to the toilet. I know very romantic right. They were on their way back to the gym when Hanada called out Kagayama's name, motioning him to come over, he walked to them, Hanada, Yamaguchi and Tsukushima. What is it Boke? Hurry up Baka. Shut up both of you. Kagayama and Suki, did something happen between the both of you and the third gym squad and Oikawa-san with Iwezumi-san? No, what do you mean? No such a short answer Suki. Are you sure? 100%. Positive. Because I'm pretty sure I can feel their stares from here. You must be hallucinating, poor yams. Whatever. Are you guys ready to go? Imhum, -hmm, okay. The four of them walked to the Karasuno members, Hinata and Yamaguchi were talking to Daichi and Shugu while both of them were deep in thoughts. Both of them were thinking about what Yamaguchi had said earlier but decided to shrug it off and deal with it later. I guess it's normal to help someone right. Hmm, how long do I need to kill this as a secret? About 10 minutes later, the four of them exited the gym, going to the store to pick up their needed materials, that decided to walk back together and get started on the project at Yamaguchi's house. They entered the house, greeting Yamaguchi's mom. Sorry for intruding. Thank you for having us. I'm home. What do you mean you're home? This is not your home, Tangerine. Duh, I always come here to hang out with Yamaguchi. Besides Auntie knows me and treats me like her second child. Whatever. Mom, we're going to my room, okay. We need to do a school project. His mom responded with a yes and said that she'll bring snacks for them later. They thanked her before walking upstairs. So, how do we do this? I thought you knew how. Well, didn't you listen to the teacher? Why listen if you can just create something only you can do? I give up. Don't worry guys. Suki will help us. Wait, I didn't said. Thanks Suki, you're a lifesaver, wow thanks Salty. You're lucky that I don't have a knife with me right now. We love you too. Uh. Finally after struggling for approximately two and a half hours, they managed to finish at least 40% of the project, they just need to interview a few people and print some extra information they've obtained from the internet and maybe decorate their work. Before both, as in Kagayama and Tsukushima, if you go home, do you have anything to say? What do you mean, both of us? I'm having a sleepover with yams today. Maybe. Spill. It's nothing serious. Threatening Yamaguchi emojis. Fine. When I was on my way to the fucking toilet, I got lost in. You got lost. Wow, told you that you need glasses. Shut up, as I was saying Iwezumi san ad the other guy named Oikawa san helped me to get to the toilet. Hmm. What about you Suki? Don't call me that. Just tell us the tea already, my boy. 
Karu-san, Bakudo-san and Akashi-san said they wanted me in their relationship. Owh, that's fine. Wait what? Huh, wow, so, what did you said? I told them to give me some time and we decided to be friends first, also I have this friend's date tomorrow, hem. Well, I can't really say anything about this, hem. Just give them a chance. Yeah maybe you'll get by one get two free. Amused Hanada and Yamaguchi emojis. Time skip to when both Kags and Suki arrived at their house respectively. I wonder, dot but they looked so close. I can't destroy their relationship for my sake. Little did he know, smirking face, meanwhile with Suki. Ugh, I'm gonna regret this, I just knew it. Just try it boy and let me write this story. And with that they finally fell asleep while thinking about 101 possibilities that could happen tomorrow and in the future. The next day, Suki received a text from Hanada and he quickly read it, his sight slightly blurred from the drowsiness. Good morning Suki. Karu-san told me to tell you that you can wait for them at the school gate and they'll pick you up. What time? 9. Thanks. Oki. Tsukushima looked at the clock before going to the bathroom to freshen up and get ready. It's 8.15 a.m. by the way. He took a quick bath before opening his closet, looking for a perfect clothes for today. He quickly skimmed through every piece of clothing he got before finally pulling out a few. How about this? Nah, the hip-hop vibe is a little bit too strong. He pulled out another pair, looking at the material up and down. Should I wear this, but I'm not comfortable wearing this in from of strangers though. Maybe next time. He finally decided on some random long ass coat with some black pants. I'll just wear this. He finally get dressed and went out after bidding goodbye to his mom and brother. In this alternate universe, I'm trying to keep a close relationship between Suki and his brother. When he finally arrived at the school gate, he noticed the other were talking to each other while looking left and right, probably searching for him. Am I late? He glanced at his watch, noticing that the time was only 8.57 a.m. Maybe they decided to come earlier. Hey 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 Suki, good morning Tsukushima, hey. Good morning. Why are you guys so early, just because? Okay. The clothes that Bakudo and Akashi chose. Karu's outfit of the day. Let's go. Yeah. Come on Suki. Yeah yeah, I'm walking right now Bo. What? What's what? What did you said just now? I'm walking. No, after that. Confused Suki emojis. You said Bo. So, you just gave me a nickname, blushing Bakudo noises. I want one, jealous Karu emojis. Whatever. Come on Suki. Fine, what's your full name? Karu Tetsuro. Tetsu it is then. Smiling cat face with hard eyes. What about you Akashi-san? Akashi Keiji. Hum, I can't call you K though. Why? That's my name, amused Tsukushima's emojis. Winking face with tongue times three, face with open mouth times three, thinking face times three. Maybe Kashi or Keiji. Sounds great. And with that they finally get started with their first date as friends winking face with tongue times three. The end of part two. Thank you for watching and I'm very sorry for any mistakes place of worship times three.